Hello guys, welcome back to Good Shower Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix iPhone 15 and 15 Pro Max is having an issue with battery life draining issue and see how we can fix this up. Try these possible workaround in order to fix this. The first one is all about when you're having this particular trouble, you have to restart your iPhone and that is what we have to do. So to do a restart, this is actually not a forced restart, we're just doing randomly restart. So in order to do this, we have two methods. You can uh, press and hold the power button and navigate to it, or else you can just press over here in the uh, settings. Now frame it, tap on general, scroll down and navigate to transfer or reset, uh, sorry, not over here, sorry. Over here, there is an option called shutdown. So just slide to power it off. And once afterwards, just press and hold the power button. So you'll be like, you'll be getting the phone as a restart one. Afterwards, see whether the issue is solved or not. Sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble, so we can try this out. Which one is all about? We have to turn off 5G if it is enabled. So you need to cross check this. So first one, you have to make sure the data has to be enabled. So uh, if the uh, mobile data is enabled, what you need to do is just need to go over here in the settings. Now from here, tap on mobile services. Now from here, what you need to do is we just need to go over here. Right now, as you can see, you have to cross check over here in the mobile data or mobile data roaming option. And over here, as you can see, the voice and data is right now it is on 5G auto. And we are having three options that is 5G auto, 5G on LTE. So if you are on the 5G, this is one of the main reason if the system is supporting or your cellular is supporting the 5G, you will be having the trouble. So what you need to do is we just need to turn this off to LTE. So you are turning off from 5G to LTE. Once afterwards, you just need to go back and check whether the issue is solved or not. This is one of the main reason many users end up in having the issue. Third one is all about what we need to do is we just need to use low power mode or we have to enable the low power mode. So in order to do this, we just need to tap over here in the settings. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to battery over here. Now from here, as you can see, I have disabled the low power mode. So we have to turn this on. So this is very important. You have to turn on low power mode. Once afterwards, we just need to check whether the issue because low power mode, turning off it in low power mode will be reducing the uh, battery issue. And you have to fix this up. This is a very important step. Next one is all about you have to cross check whether you are going through any kind of heavy usage or any apps are utilizing your battery mode. If that is the case, we have to disable it. So in order to do this, we need to check it. So we can check it in two way. First one, you have to check whether you are going through any kind of background apps are running over here in the background. So right now I don't have anything. So you just need to do like this and you can see there are a lot of things running in the background. So all these things are actually utilizing the performance. So I'm draining, I'm having the battery drain. So you have to throw it all away and keep in mind you have to keep the background uh, have to be nil. And once afterwards, just go over here in the settings. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to battery. And over here, you have to tap on the battery. Over here, you have to make sure, go into the battery, you have to check for the battery health and charging. Now from here, you have to cross check whether if anything is draining out your performance a lot. From here, you will be able to understood that which one is using your battery a lot. So as you can see, if you scroll down, you will be able to get a clear idea. From this, you have to realize what all things are utilizing in the background. The battery is being utilized more. So if you feel like something is utilizing it more, you have to either delete it or you have to make sure a control on it so that you'll not be having the respective issue. Even after trying with this one, if the issue is still there, we can try with the next one. That is all about what we need to do is we just need to check for the iOS update and you have to make sure you're on the latest version of iOS. So I'm on iOS 17 right now, which is uh, rolled out very few days back. So tap over here in the settings. Now if you scroll down and navigate to general, now go for software update. And over here, as you can see, you have to make sure that you're on the latest version. And over here, I'm on the latest version of iOS 17.0.1. This is what you have to do. So if any updates are there, just update your iPhone. And after trying with this, if the issue is still there, the last and the least one is all about, you have to do a force restart on your iPhone. So to do a force restart, we have to press volume up. Like I said, we have to press the volume down and we have to press and hold the power button unless and until you see the Apple logo. Let me do this once again, volume up, followed by volume down. And we have to press uh, volume, uh, press and hold the power button unless and until you see the Apple logo. So once you see the Apple logo, you just need to wait because this has to get completely loaded up. Afterwards, sign in to the iPhone, give in the passcode of your iPhone and most people should be completely fixed. 
So get into the iPhone, give the passcode and most probably the issue regarding the battery, battery drain on your iPhone 15 plus and 15 will be completely fixed and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.